Hello and welcome to The Sim Hanger. My name's Mark, The Sim Hanger for all things flight sim related. Following the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator only six months ago, there's been a literal explosion of add-ons. All you need to do is go in Sim to the marketplace or look at any of the flight sim retailers and you'll see page after page of utilities, scenery and to a lesser extent aircraft and much of this at a very good quality as well. Well, this hasn't only been happening in the payware market. A lot of development has been going on in terms of freeware as well. And it's worth a look because there's not necessarily a compromise in terms of coverage or quality. So what we're going to do today is have a look at one site that specializes in freeware and much of it at a very good quality. So. Let's take a look and let's get started. The site I'm talking about is flightsim.to. And what makes this site stand out from most of the others offering freeware is how well organized it is. You can search in all manner of different ways. By aircraft livery, scenery, by country, by just utilities and so on. It also has a regularly updated news section bringing you up to date with all the latest issues, features and news items. But let's get back to the main site. Let's investigate scenery as an example. We'll click on that and here we can see it has 794 downloads relating to international airports and over a thousand for regional airports. And each subsection is similarly organized. For example, under utilities, we can see there they've got it divided into tweaks, toolkits, applications, and so on. Let's click on applications. And then from the top, we can refine our search even further by last updated, most downloaded, most liked, and so on. Let's search by most downloaded. And here we can see a program pushback helper is the most popular. I actually have this utility. It's great for pushbacks, simple and easy to use, over 40,000 downloads, and it is regularly being updated. Currently version 2.4. It's also comforting to note that they have scanned for viruses all their up and downloads. The number of applications, etc. is quite amazing. We can also search by country. So we click on United States if we're looking for a download for that area. And once again, we can refine our search. This time we'll go for most liked. And we can see Monument Valley featuring at the top, followed by downtown LA. The Grand Canyon National Park Airport looks interesting. Let's take a quick look. And it's at this point where you get a whole lot more information as well as images than what you'll find at most other freeware download sites. This looks like another one I need to add to my ever-growing list. Let's take a quick look at the United Kingdom under our country search. So we click on United Kingdom and then I'm going to choose most downloaded. Gatwick comes up first with 32,000 downloads and according to the search bar there are 341 downloads related to the United Kingdom. This will cover airports, landmarks, liveries, as well as utilities. The information under each download shows how many downloads and a star rating as well to give you guidance. Let's go back to the top of the section and let's see how easy it is to download. I personally prefer the smaller airports as I like to do the GA flying. I've already got London South End from Pilot Plus so I'm going to choose Wellsbourne Mountford. It's got five stars and over four and a half thousand downloads. By clicking on it, it takes us into the detailed section. And often the amount of detail shown here gives you an indication of the amount of detail the developer has put into his scenery. This one looks quite detailed. This looks good. I'm going to click on download. I want the latest one, the main file. So choose download there. I'm not a robot. And let's start the download. It's freeware, but you do get the option to buy the developer a coffee or make a donation via PayPal. This will help fund the developer and motivate him to create additional sceneries. And we'll have a look at the airport just now. There is another way to search and that is via the scenery map. In fact, this is my favorite way of searching on this site. 
a map is displayed which we can zoom into. So for example, if we were looking for something, say, in South America, well, we could zoom into the map and choose the particular area in South America that we wanted a download for and then see what is available. I find this the quickest and easiest way. Once we're zoomed in, we can hover over the different icons to see exactly what is available, be it a landmark, an airport, etc. If there's something that looks interesting, then click on the icon and a link will appear. Click on that and it will take you directly to that particular item. Once again, you can review all the details and have a quick look at the graphics before making a final decision and then on to download. There's one other aspect of this site which I really enjoy. The first item shown is a livery, the Qantas livery for the newly released 737 MAX available via SimMarket from Bredock 3D. And I'm not sure of the details, but there's some dispute in terms of the legality of this program. I'm not going to go into that here, but there is a warning from the site developers, which is welcomed and refreshing to say the least. And the last aspect I want to highlight is the requests area in the menus on the left hand side. Let's choose scenery for example, let's click on that and these are the requests put in by various people asking for scenery to be developed, hoping that it will be a steer for some of the developers contributing to this site and to freeware overall. It's a great and welcome addition to the site and again highlights its professionalism overall and gives me more confidence in terms of the freeware downloads from here. In order to assess the scenery that we downloaded, let's just have a quick look at it in Microsoft Flight Simulator at default. Those aircraft are flat, they're not 3D, painted on the ground. But overall scenery is not too bad. An industrial park on the other side of the runway. As expected, the cars are 2D. I've unzipped the file and put it into my community folder. Let's now have a look at our download. Well, there's more detail at the airport. We've gained a control tower. Let's have a look at the industrial side. Again, there's more 3D vehicles, etc. And more details added in and around the buildings. That looks like a container park or something similar. And that looks like a fuel garage there. So the developer's work has extended a little bit further than just at the airport. Let's just take a closer look at the airport. Different sizes and shapes of buildings scattered about, as well as what looks like various flying schools and perhaps cafes. As I mentioned earlier, the control tower. Let's just take a closer look at the control tower. It's got somebody in, that's a nice little touch. And I like the little bits and pieces just laying around the airport. That looks like a salt bin for snow or a waste bin. Now let's head further up the airport and one of the reasons I chose this was one of my subscribers told me that at this airport they had a Vulcan. It's not flyable but they do start the engines once or twice a year. Nice touch. Well done to the developer Flying Thesten. I also regularly check out freeware on two other sites. The first is simulatedaviation.com and the second is msfsaddons.com and I'll leave links to both sites in the notes below. If you're not sure on how to install an add-on then check out this in my how-to guide series. Again, links in the notes below. Is there a scenery area, a utility, an aircraft that you're looking for and it's not yet available? Well, many sites such as flightsim.to have a suggestion or requests area. So, nothing to lose. Put your ideas and suggestions in there and let's see what happens. A lot of the developers also watch YouTube. So, pop them in the comments below as well because they may pick them up there. As always, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you found this useful, informative. I'll see you all again soon. Stay well. Bye for now.